Hey guys, what's going on? Before I get into the topic of today's video, I want to say thank you to all of you guys who subscribe to my channel, who support my channel, who leave likes, who leave comments. It's really, really great. Just yesterday I hit 200 subs. Uh, that's maybe not a lot for other people. I'm really happy about that, I have to say. It's not a lot of subs, but I'm also not someone who really chases subs. And when I started this channel, I thought that maybe 20 people maximum would be interested in listening to what I have to say and kind of following my channel. Now it's 200 and I really appreciate that, guys. So thanks a lot for that. But let's jump right into the topic today. I want to talk about the trend of broken games, the trend of unfinished AAA games being released. And I want to focus mostly on AAA games. I don't want to go too much into indie games and all this early access uh, story because that's a complete different video, I think. But what's actually interesting and what I kind of want to put the focus of this video on is that hand in hand with unfinished games being released also goes the trend of publishers apologizing. And I kind of realized that yesterday when Microsoft apologized for the disastrous launch of Halo, the Master Chief Collection, I think the single player works more or less fine, at least from what I've heard, but apparently the multiplayer is a complete catastrophe, it doesn't really work and you can't get into lobbies and there are major uh, matchmaking issues. Now they come forward and said, well guys, we're so sorry, we're so sorry this has happened uh, here, you everyone gets a free month of Xbox Live Gold and a few in-game items and hopefully you're not too angry. Another example is obviously Evolution Studios Drive Club. First, they delayed it beyond anything that would have thought to be possible. I think Drive Club was supposed to be a launch game, actually, for the next generation consoles. And then it was delayed beyond anything. And now it came out and it's still in a very, very bad state. Evolution Studios have offered the November DLC free of charge uh, as means of compensation for the game's launch issues. Dead Kings, the expansion pack for Assassin's Creed Unity was offered by Ubisoft because they have been shipping a broken game, to use their own words. If you remember the disastrous launch of SimCity, EA offered a few games free of charge for that to compensate the players. Battlefield 4 is another example. They offered some double XP and a few in-game items. Now what this shows is a few things. First of all, I think it shows the power that a shitstorm has. It's the power of the internet. Everyone can just go online and highlight it to the publisher or the developer and say, look guys, that's shit, fix your game, whatever, and put actually pressure on them. And then they have to come out with a DLC or anything that they can offer for free. But to be very honest with the examples I've just given, if that's the compensation you're offering me for screwing up a game and making it nearly unplayable on launch, then sorry, that to me feels like you're just making fun of me. It, it just feels like they want to push something out there to save their ass. So next time when they release a game, they can do the same thing again. They always apologize, but it seems like they never learn from it. Also, look at the stuff that they offer for compensation. It might be a DLC. It might be double XP, which is particularly ridiculous, or maybe a, a free game to download. Who tells me that content like a DLC has not been taken out of the game on purpose before the release because they know that the game is fucked so they can actually offer it to me as compensation and it's actually something that I would have gotten anyway if I would have bought the game if they wouldn't have taken it out before. I don't know if it's true, this is just like a guess from my side but to me that would totally make sense. If Ubisoft knows that Assassin's Creed is screwed, they take out five missions, tweak it a little bit, turn it you know, into its own little story and then resell it to you or offer it to you as compensation hopefully you you're not angry. So let's ask the question why this happens, right? Like why do AAA developers and publishers release an unfinished game? There are some obvious reasons. I think the workloads just get bigger. The complexity of games is all the time increasing. So it's not only a logistical nightmare for these companies, it also requires constantly more staff to work on the game. With the internet, we now have the option of a day one update. So developers can say, we're releasing the game as it is, and now we still have two weeks to work on the day one update and put another hardcore crunch time into the schedule. And then hopefully by release, we can actually hand out this day one update and it fixes all the stuff. That just doesn't work. Because a lot of the time, you know, they, the problems are so massive and there's still so much to do that despite nobody sleeping for two weeks, people are just not able to get it done in time. 
time and that actually takes me to the next point i think all the crunch times with these really tight schedules just get harder and harder and the exhaustion of the developers and the actual people who are working on the game is just getting beyond anything that's really possible people are too tired people start making mistakes and it's just not possible to hold all these deadlines that they've been given so what can we do about this i mean often publishers put a lot of pressures on these development studios because they're following a very tight schedule development of one game has to be finished by this date so that the team can start working on the next game and it is just really really a very money hungry process if that makes sense i think to be honest developers and publishers need to rethink their release schedules you need to consider that a release schedule that worked perfectly maybe five years ago is not up to date anymore if you look at the detail of titles on next gen console it's just so much more intricate it has so many more layers of immersion and the amount of assets that you need to create for a game that there's literally no way that you can finish it to a schedule that would have worked maybe five years ago. So what can we do to kind of work against this? I think one big point is that we have to stop pre-ordering games. I know we all live in a I want to be first culture where we want to be the first guys who play a game and we want to tell our friends that we already finished the game and it makes all of us feel really cool. But we have to stop with this shit. And honestly, I never pre-ordered a game in my life exactly for this reason. I am not or rarely supporting games on Kickstarter for exactly this reason. It's always better to wait for a review, to watch a video on YouTube, how someone's playing it, and then to get an idea. And if the reviews all say, dude, the game is unfinished, it's a piece of shit, then don't buy it because that is the most powerful method for us, the players, to communicate to the developers and publishers that this is shit and they have to change their schedules and actually make sure they can deliver a game. And actually, if you remember, like NES times, Nintendo NES, when you bring out the cartridge, there is no option of a day one update. The game has has to be finished when it's delivered. So I wish that this kind of mindset comes back to developers and to publishers. Another thing obviously is flag it up to them, write them a tweet, make a video like this, send them an email, do anything you can to make it very, very clear and use the power that you have as a player that you're not happy with these unfinished games, with this trend of unfinished games so they don't get away with it next time. So guys, the video comes to an end. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm very, very happy of my 200 subscribers. You can leave me a like underneath the video or subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. Otherwise, I wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas this year. I hope you can enjoy it in the midst of your family and you're just gonna have a really happy Christmas this year. I thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.